Okay, guys, I'm gonna hop into this kind of quick because I'm refilming this uh, from a previous version because I realized I left some things out um, on the SAS admin panel, so I'm just redoing this real quick. Like, so this is your main page when you come to the forum. Most people know they how to access the topics I'm in here, so I'm not gonna cover anything from here. Um, stronghold. I'll have to get back on that and I'll figure out what that is. Anyway, enter VIP for VIPs. Um, this is what your, the side of your screen basically will look like if you are a VIP. You will probably not have authors. These three will be not present for you as you can't use them as VIP. So I will not cover these three. When you first come into VIP, you have... Um, well, let me turn my mic up some more just in case. It was a little low last time sounding. So let me turn that up real quick. Um, when you first come into the VIP, it shows your profile here. It shows all your stats. You can change your humanity here. You can also, there's a under miscellaneous, there is a edit humanity right here. You can use that if you wish to not do it here. So for your loadout, edit inventory and backpack have been made two tabs in here. It's before you had to edit inventory wait for it to load like this and they would load up your inventory and you would have to click on your backpack and it would take you into your backpack and take you through this loading screen a second time now however you will go through the loading screen twice if you wish to go click edit backpack and change something in your backpack later please keep in mind that if you have something in your backpack and you've logged out of the game to edit your inventory or if you and you edit it again um, it will delete what's in your backpack and replace it with a new copy of what spawned in there. And this is what your primary inventory looks like though, however. Now note VIPs though, I believe the new thing is they can only edit their gear once per life. So character life or life in the game. So if you die, you can edit this again when you respawn. Um, but you can only do it once and then you have to wait again to do it when you die. So another thing that um, I don't know, I, that commonly gets left out and I left it out in my uh, tutorial I just filmed actually is okay if you have an ultimate VIP you're not just restricted to using this tab and the primary weapons tab which has these guns um, you can also spawn things obviously from the other tabs I'd say it because um, I don't know if everybody would assume that you could just use it like that because you have the higher VIP package or if you're limited to just not being intercompatible with the other packages because you paid more and such but you can spawn everything and uh, this section, all these guns don't work, except for this one. This G36 might work because it's like last time I checked, all the, I spawned all the G36s and they actually did work, unless that has changed. But if you wish to try this one in the trash section, feel free to. Um, for those of you who are satchel charge people, satchel charges are spawned under throne for whatever reason. Um, they are right here. Your primary weapons tab, if you're a regular VIP, this will be the only tab you can use, and then up and so forth. You will be able to use more of the tabs depending on your VIP status. Now, for as for your backpack, you used to click your backpack to enter it. Now you just edit backpack, and it will load your backpack up, and you can edit your backpack. So we will wait for this to load. And it is taking an extremely long time. So, your backpack, as you can see, looks the same basically as your primary inventory. Um, this is what mine is, and I don't use the coyote. I use the check because it allows you to have 24 slots as well of usage. However, I think there is a bug if you select check and then try to spawn all your gear, including a gun, it will mess up. So, it will only let you use like slots down to like right in here somewhere. So, just edit your gear on a coyote. When you have all your gear and like you have like say that's your gun you want to put in there and you put all the mags and stuff in and then you just go change to check and then you save backpack and it will pop a little menu on the screen that says okay which i'll show you what it looks like it'll say backpack saved or if it's your primary inventory it'll say inventory saved and you just okay and it'll start to reload this right now will dump you back into your main inventory once it's done loading i believe so we will wait and see what happens real quick. Okay, it dumped me back into my backpack. I guess that changed. As f that's how to use the inventory editor, the basics, 
um, if something should break where you say you can't like spawn stuff in here or like it won't let you put a gun in for some odd reason and it messes up you can go to account and reset my inventory and it will clear it'll clear your backpack and everything your primary inventory but if you're unable to spawn things or certain items in there you will be able to spawn them once again as for spawning vehicles tents and stashes they all use the same way of spawning them you choose where you want it and you click on the map and it will spawn it where you clicked now I believe this might use an array function so if you click right here it doesn't spawn exactly where you clicked on the map just have a look around in that gr in these grid cords and you will find your stash same thing for tents and same thing for stashes and vehicles you just click and it puts it there our old system employed where you had to go to that location on the map click spawn while you're in game and after the next restart it would spawn there we have changed this for your convenience and your ease of placing vehicles while having to run all the way across the map as for teleporting as a VIP teleport to player is not a VIP function as far as I know it is administration only so this I'm not going to cover this any more than that teleport to location for teleport this is like is the same thing as exploring a stash you just instead it deals with your teleporting so you click where you want to go i.e. right here on the north of field and it will randomly spawn you in this grid somewhere we still also have our set teleport location which this is our set teleport locations which which also use a random array of spawning points the set to location teleport does not use tokens this one does it tells you how many you have here token wise now if you wish to teleport a player to you you may teleport a player you just type in their name as it is it is in game caps capitals uppercases and lowercase letters really they don't matter it will find them and teleport them to you so long as they are logged out of the game now if you use this function please please guys I know that people understand they can teleport people but please try to avoid teleporting people to you if they don't ask and things of the such nature because that's someone's going to get mad and then we are as administration are going to get complaints and we really wish to avoid this and give everybody the most positive gaming experience we can provide here at SASDZ. Your miscellaneous tab controls your skins, your humanity, reviving, and healing. New skins have recently been added, like White Gilly, which I'm going to check out in a little bit because I did not know had been added. So there is a lot of new skins in here to check out, guys, and uh, stuff. We have added also more animals you can play as. Please note these, you basically can just run around and do nothing else, but run around. Defenseless. Your edit humanity, which I was talking about earlier. If you wish to do it this way, you just enter your user ID and you edit your humanity. Your revive and your heal, you just click them and if it's successful, it will say action successful on the screen. Like such. Your account. And when it's done, it'll bring you back to your profile, which is this home tab up here. You can get your ID, which you do this, and you type in your name. Oops, made a mistake here already. And I will click my name in the list, which, and get my own ID, since you guys have already seen it, it doesn't matter. SASE Vobatrier, and this is my in-game ID name. Get more tokens feature, or you can get more tokens if you run out. You can also add ask administration for tokens and they can do this for you I believe but you might have to just buy them now please refer to Zane for any questions on things I cannot answer here today reset my account if you use this I was told this will delete your account so be careful with this button if you click this you might be in a little bit of an issue here actually quite a big issue Reset my inventory is for if your inventory breaks and will not let you spawn stuff in it or certain items. You reset your inventory. It will clear your inventory on the database and allow you to spawn everything once again. As for optimization and these, these are, are uh, administration functions and are being skipped now. But 
that is a basic rundown on the SAS tutorial. If I, uh, VIP tutorial here, or panel tutorial, sorry, I'm getting my words kind of mixed up. If you wish to know anything more, guys, or wish to ask me a question, if there was something I forgot to cover in this video, please ask, and I will answer your question. I will respond to you via PM, or I will respond to you here in the shout box. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and we hope to see many of you enjoying the features of SAS.